it is given that pb n square matrix of the size n by n and p square equals to p this means that p is idempotent matrix and we have to check which one option is false as p square equals to p it implying that p dot p equals to p taking transpose on both side p p transpose equals to p transpose and we know that a b transpose equals to b transpose a transpose this is same as oxus property means the transpose comes in reverse order so i can write p transpose square equals to p transpose it means p transpose is idempotent matrix so option first is true that's why it is not our desired the possible eigen values of p are 0 or 1 this is option b because of p square equals to p means p satisfying this equation implying that lambda square equals to lambda will be the characteristic equation and this implies implying that lambda equal to either 0 or 1 so possible eigen values of p are 0 and 1 this is true but this is not desired the non diagonal entities of p can be 0 identity matrix uh, you may consider as idempotent matrix and we know that uh, non diagonal elements can be zero so this is statement is again true or you can consider again a uh, non identity matrix as p 0 1 1 0 this matrix is idempotent because of p square equals to p this condition is satisfied by this matrix and you can observe easily non diagonal elements are zero so it this statement is again true that's why not desired there are in finite number of n by n non singular matrices that are idempotent this option d is false because of eigen values are 0 and 1 and their product will be 0 it means determinant is 0 if determinant is 0 it means that matrices are singular but given that non singular that's why this statement is false and will be desired so option d will be correct